Greetings. This video is about converting uh, mass spectrometry data files in the MZML format to the private yet open uh, SQLite uh, based DB format for MAN expert. Indeed, the uh, SQLite 3 uh, DB format provides very much quicker loads uh, for uh, uh, data files and uh, proves to be very useful when handling large data sets. So let's start. This um, uh, conversion needs to be performed in the uh, command uh, line. So if you type command cmd in the search uh, uh, box, then Windows will provide you with this answer, command prompt. Let's start the command prompt. Now go to the desktop place and if we do this, we find that there is um, this, this file. That is a uh, ion mobility mass spectrometry data file in the MZML format. In order to uh, don't type too much, let's go to Program Files to MS Expert Suite and make a drag and drop with the Mayan Expert executable name here. If we look at this command line, we can complete it with uh, the help uh, instruction and that will display help uh, information. So typically we are interested in converting from MZML to SQLite DB format and that is triggered by using the X flag and we are asking to output the converted data to a given file with the O flag. So let's, let's start the process. We want to convert this file to test db. That is the output file. Let's go with the conversion. And we can see that the test db file is created and it is updated each time a set of spectra are converted. What this line says is that there are a number of skipped spectra because they are empty. That is normal because in ion mobility mass spectrometry many spectra will be empty. This is a characteristic of that kind of analysis method. So we should now reach the end of the file and when it will be done now we can close this command interface and run my expert either by going directly here or by looking for the menu in here. So let's start the program. Let's open both files. We know we have made the conversion in desktop. We have the MZML file and the testDB file. Let's open both and we'll check if they are identical. That's for the first one. We need to OK this dialog. It always goes behind. I don't know why. So I am clicking on Alt Tab to, uh, to show it. OK, that's done. What we see is that the first MZML file has a tick chromatogram in red here. And the result, the output DB file has a very similar, if not identical, uh, tick chromatogram, total ion current chromatogram. So that means that apparently the mass spectral data in this file 
are identical to the mass spectral data in this one, which means that the conversion went fine. Let's very quickly check that the MS data are actually identical. They seem to be almost identical. If they are not identical, it is because here, in the output DB file, there are no empty spectra. So we are happy with the MZ ML to DB conversion with respect to the MS data. They seem identical. If I hide this trace, remains the green one. If I hide this trace, remains the red one. Now try to see if the drift data are identical in both cases. Let's go to the drift spectrum window and they seem to be also identical. Let's hide the green. It's absolutely red. Let's hide the red. It's absolutely green. So they are identical. The conversion actually worked flawlessly. Thank you very much.